Hello there. Right, and welcome back to episode two of uh, Electronic Ignition Fun Time. If you remember from episode one, I pulled off the flywheel here. Do you remember that? That round thing? Let me have a look at it. Let's have a look. Pull that off first. That's the dust cover. And then uh, this thing here. Let's have a look. That's the flywheel. Now, for those of you who aren't, you know, as mechanically minded as I am, <coughs> this flywheel spins round and round and round with the engine, and it's got magnets. Yeah, that's right. More than one magnet in there. And those magnets, when they spin round, they go past these things here, which are coils of wire. Now, do you remember from those physics lessons that you did at school? Do you remember those? And I remember learning about how when magnets go past electrical coils, it makes a current. That's electrical current, not like in baking. Okay, and uh, there's a thing here called a condenser. I think I called it a capacitor last time, but it could be called both. Now, some electrical jiggery-pokery happens in there. And then there's some contact stuff here, some pointy stuff. This switches the current on and off. And it goes through the high tension wire uh, up to the spark plug. Now what I'll do in a minute um, is I'll turn the camera around and get it really focusing in uh, on what I'm going to be doing here. Because some high level mechanicking is going to be occurring. I'm going to be using possibly more than one tool. I'm going to be undoing some bolts. I know. Okay, so I've got some coffee. And I've got my... Uh, Box set of Bergerac for later, essential. Uh, oh, the postman. Uh, don't forget the postman only brings mice. Uh, okay, so there we go. Oh, I did promise you actually, I'd show you uh, my new torque wrench. Check this out. Oh, look at it, it's like Scalibur, isn't it? Look at that. Can you see that there? It's a beam wrench. Yeah. So when you pull on the handle here, this little needle goes to the left or right, and I don't know, it's a bit more old school than the clickety clackety types. Okay, so there we go. I'll, um, do you know what I'll do? I think I'll keep the camera here for the moment. Uh, I might edit out this bit of camera wobbling. Oh. Okay, there are some balloons up. Uh, as you can see, it's someone's birthday today. Someone in this house is seven. All right, so. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is taking some nuts and bolts off here. Do you know what? I think I will turn the camera around. Okay, so uh, hold on to your hats. All right then, welcome back. Okay, so uh, a couple of things were mentioned last time uh, after episode one. Brian Solex pointed out, can you see this here? This little adjusting bolt, little adjusting nut for the points is actually uh, too far this way. Can you see, I don't know if you can see, there's a little gap between the bolt and the cutout there. Uh, this means that the points were never really adjusting properly, so really this needs to be turned 180 degrees the other way. But do you know what? We've got electronic ignition. Hey, we don't need that sort of stuff. All right, so th this is uh, pretty genuine mechanicing going on here. I am literally I'm not prepared for this at all. All I've done is got my spanners out, and here we are. So, um, I'm going to have a go at working out what takes these off, because we don't need these points. We don't need this capacitor condenser thing. We do need that, and we do need that. All right, so uh, let's have a look. Okay, what needs to be taken off first? Now, I need to get... I think there's... I'm going to use this as a pointer. I think there's a... A bolt in there. I think there's one there. Is that one in there? Yeah. Okay, so I think that's on a plate, a kind of a backing plate thing. Alright, I, I don't want to disturb this wire too much because that's soldered magically onto that. So I think I'm going to have to undo this bad boy here. Oh, look at that. It is a seven. I honestly didn't prepare that beforehand. There we go. 
Now, it doesn't really matter if I lose these. I'm going to try not to. What I tend to do is, uh, whenever I take anything off this bike, for any reason, uh, I tend to keep it at its own special little Solex collection, just in case I need to put anything back. And I actually label things as well. Alright, so I don't want to break that wire. Let's move that to there. We're going to be needing that. Not this little tab end, but we're going to need the wire. Alright, so let's see if... Oh, yes, look at that. Now, that wasn't very tight at all. That was literally coming off. I promise you I haven't loosened these or checked them. So there you go, that's a 7mm. Another one, I reckon down here. Oh, do you see the way that went in? Let's have a replay of that. I'll do it in slow motion. I'm going to put the socket in there. Okay. Back to normal speed. Now, literally, that was loose. That was actually loose. Uh, wow, it's disappeared. Oh, it's in there. Did you hear the sound of the socket rolling away there? If you've ever done any mechanicing, you'll know that the second you put anything on the floor, it goes into a special fairy realm. It disappears. So I've done that one, that one. Oh, I think there's one in there. Okay, that's kind of not undoing. That was actually loose. I, I thought... <laughs> there you go. Look at that. There you are. Look at that. All right, so there is the mechanical points assembly. That's the thing that rubs up and down on the flywheel. I'm not sure what that would do. How does that turn that? Oh, right, that bit. That bit will rub on the flywheel, I think, yeah. And that's an eccentric cam. I, I feel like an eccentric cam sometimes. Okay, so that they open and close there. And these are the points that, in theory, give loads of trouble. Uh, I haven't had a lot of trouble with this setup, I have to say. So I'm going to keep that. What I'm going to do is put the little little nut there back on. Okay. There we go. Put that on there. Did you see that fall off? Okay, so that's going into the fairy kingdom of lost nuts and bolts. And these lost nuts and bolts roam the fairy kingdom, moaning and cursing like lost souls. Alright, so we're going to be needing that, because that's the wire that comes off the ignition coil. Can you see a little wire there? See that one? That goes through to another wire to the lighting coil. And if the lighting worked on my bike, that would be brilliant. As it is, I've got a, a bicycle light, um, a cat eye, you know, like a sort of a LED thing. Uh, because, unbelievably, I use this bike for day-to-day -day commuting. It does about 20 miles a day. Uh, not at the moment, obviously. So there we go. We've taken everything off there. That's fine. That's just resting there. Now, should I put these bolts back in there for someone at a later point to use. What do you think? Oh, I'm tempted to put them back in. Oh, I know there are people out there going, no, don't do it. But I don't know, they were all right before to stay in there. Oh, I don't know. Let me ask. Do you want to go back in there? No. Really? Oh, I'll have a go. No, he doesn't want to go in. What about you? Do you want to have a go? No, they're scared. They don't want to go in. All right, so I often find in mechanicing, as in life, if you try and do something and it just doesn't work, no matter what you, what you do, it, you're probably doing something wrong. So it's time to stop, have some more tea, watch another episode of Bergerac, probably uh, Series 5, I'd say. Uh, and then go back to it. So there you go. Uh, that's all I wanted to do today, was uh, do it in little stages. Um, so we've taken that off. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, there we go. 
take another. What I'm going to do actually is tape, get some uh, insulation tape and tape those to there. Put it all in a little bag. So should I want to put it back together again, I can do. Okay, uh, the next job I'm going to have to do is to drill a little hole. Did you hear that socket rolling there? Drill a little hole somewhere here or under there. I was looking at a, a picture on the Vola Solex Club UK.com of another Solex fan, um, Mark Bamford, I do believe. Sorry to use your name there, Mark Bamford. Um, and he did a really, really nice setup. And it looked a bit like this. So what I'm going to have to do is clip that off there. I'll do that next time. Clip that off. And then I'm going to have to put a sleeve of some variety, I think, over this. Uh, and if I've clipped that off, you know what I can do? I can go and find a bit of electrical cabling uh, and just pull the sleeve off and see if I can fit it over there. I could put, you know, that sort of heat shrink stuff on it. But, you know, A, I haven't got any, and B, I haven't got a, 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 a heat gun. And I haven't got a hairdryer for obvious reasons. Okay, so uh, I'll clip that off, put a wire on there, run that wire through here. I use a little connector that came with the pack. And then, basically, uh, just down there, I'll just move the camera a bit now, right? so it's going to wobble slightly. I'm going to put down here my uh, the little atom itself. Okay, now if I put that there, I'm going to have to sort of sound this and make sure that there's an electrical ground... Come on, you know your electrics. It's got to make a circuit, hasn't it? Uh, I could, you know, I could run an extra little wire up to the engine to make sure it grounds, but it should be all right. All right, so there we go. That's episode two. Um, oh, I should add, this is quite interesting. Uh, Brian Solex, Eagle Eyes, noticed that. I wonder if you've noticed this. Can you see my air filter thing there? That is actually sitting a bit high at the back. Now... Brian Solex, who knows everything about Solex, has said, Oi, Governor. Oh, well, he didn't speak like that because he's American. He said, your air filter box is sitting a bit high. Sort it out. So I will do that at some point. And there's the light that I've got. All right, so that's it for the moment. Um, I shan't bother turning the camera around and doing a, a piece to camera like I'm on a BBC documentary. I shall do that for the, uh, for the next episode. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.